be a really cool ability to use. Can't wait to try everything. No, okay, yeah. Yeah, the Sense Sphere, yeah, I already brought that up. That's a weird talent, but yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> okay then, let's take a look take a look at Mistweaver. The heater spec. Le Mistweaver. Okay, so first of all uh, they changed, you know, Life Cocoon, if you remember. Life Cocoon used to be a talent. Yes, it is no longer a talent. Is that it's actually a ability for Mistweavers to use. Yeah, and I completely agree with this because I really, I mean, it had no use as a talent. I picked it because you had like basically nothing else to pick. There it is, Life Cocoon. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Finally, a talent, no, no longer a talent, it's an ability. Yeah, obviously, it requires Serpent Stance, which is the healing um, stance. And they also changed it, so it encases the target in a cocoon, increases all periodic healing taken by 100%, and reducing all damage they take by 30%. So it's actually not channeled anymore, which is nice. Uh, they also increase the cost of the base mana and the amount it absorbs and they actually I think they actually yeah they changed it to 100% uh, periodic healing 100% that is that is quite a lot actually really cool though to be honest that's, that's nice yes as it used to be uh, oh. yeah there we go. Well, it used to be 100%. Yeah, they removed these hard. They removed the reduced damage taken. Yeah, a bit overpowered for two minute cooldown, right? <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, okay. The mana T, you know, now it's, uh, well, for 4 chi, every 4 chi you use, you gain, you know, the mana T, it stacks up to 50 times. So, yeah, I think they actually changed it. Um, let's see. Uh, I can't. Okay. I think they changed it to like four. She. What the fuck is going on? It's like I'm getting disconnected or something. Oh, never mind. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a nerf though. So. It looks like it. Uh, dematerialize if you remember this I actually tried this I did not get it to work it just didn't work uh, it is now actually it also works on ranged attacks like I, I mean like um, that that ranged attacks also can miss you you know yeah can people stop like running up to me and just stopping randomly fucking hell man leave me alone there's a reason I'm over here you lose use your heads okay renewing mists has been changed uh, first of all it costs more mana yay I know right uh, it costs more mana and uh, not a lot though the base healing of it has been increased by 50% Damn, and it also scales with 10% more of your spell power than before, which is really nice. Uh, it also takes every three seconds and lasts for 20 seconds, and affects allies up to 20 yards instead of eight yards. <sighs> that that's quite that that is a big buff for one ability right there. But I yeah, it's it's I'm pretty sure it's needed. Honest. I guess I will find out <laughs> as usual <laughs> okay so revival as I said no actually revival is the yeah it's the misweaver only they changed that as well they removed the bleed and added disease you know just like um, uh, detox yes uh, okay, well, what else? There's so many changes. Um, 
soothing mists. Yes, this was. Sh this is. Uh, it's also changed. It costs less mana. Yep. But it heals more. And has a 20% chance to generate one she instead of 15. So another buff. I've, well, I'm pretty sure Blizzard realized that, you know, Mistweavers really needed to be fixed, so to speak. Okay, then we have Stance of the Wise Serpent. I uh, actually have it right here. No. Oh, yeah, I'm in wrong spec. Stance of the Wise Serpent. There we go. Okay. It has an additional effect. You gain eminence, eminence, causing you to heal the lowest target near nearby. Ah, uh, lowest health nearby target within 20 yards, equal to 50% of the damage you deal. Okay, and they also added that it gives uh, gives your bonus attack power equal to 100% of your spell power. Mm hmm because people were complaining about like yeah if I'm a healer I don't want to use like l agility leather items I mean I should be able to heal with my healing leather I mean and, and it makes sense you know so <coughs> sorry they finally fixed that as well and there are a lot of changes here you know bear with me <laughs> oh, shit. okay Surging Mists, there you go, Surging Mist, also increase the healing by 26%, it scales 180% of your spell power instead of 125, and it lo no longer targets the lowest health friendly targets, and I actually, I always, you know, I always, you know, made sure that I healed the target, you know, I didn't really depend on it, you know, I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, yes. So that's a nice thing, nice buff right there. Okay, now we're going to the passive. Here we go. Teachings of the monastery reduces the cooldown of expel harm by seven seconds instead of removing it. Okay, so instead of having no cooldown, you have a slightly shorter cooldown instead. And they also removed spinning crane kick. I, I don't know why. Seriously, I don't know why. Uh, they, they want monk healers to be a melee healer and you cannot heal with spinning cane, crane kick anymore and I mean that was that, that was something I really enjoyed actually that was really cool but oh well sucks I mean the beta is not over yet <laughs> okay um, my fraps is acting up funny how it's only World of Warcraft Hmm, yeah, I know how to fix it, so I'm gonna fix it, so... If you have the same problem as me with World of Warcraft and Fraps, for some fucking reason, you need to change the quality setting of um, your audio in Windows from 48 kilohertz to 44. I'm not kidding. I had to do that before because I got all this fucking shit from Fraps. It's bullshit. Learn to fucking code, dudes. Anyway, next up, Thunder Focus T uh, was changed. First, it used to have a eight-second cooldown. Then it got a ten-second cooldown, and now it has a forty-five-second cooldown. Yeah, <laughs> that's quite a nerf, but it's a really good ability, so I'm not really surprised. Uplift. Has been changed. Base healing increased by 37%. It scales like almost like two thirds more than what it used to. So, uh, in all, uh, well, overall, the changes to Miss Weavers are really good. I mean, it looks really well done right now. I mean, it looks a lot of fun. And they really made it easier to heal. <sighs> yeah, about time, huh? Now they just need to sort out the mana issue. And we'll be fine. Yes. Okay, Brewmaster. Many changes, told you. 
Okay then, let's see. Let's start from the beginning. Avert harm. Remember this ability? Of course they do. Well, they changed this. Uh, it reduces damage taken by 50% instead of 20%. So it's a buff. It's a really nice buff. Uh, Brewmaster training, which is the passive ability. There we go. They removed the blackout kick portion, like they revert, uh, like m they remade it. Fucking hell. When you use blackout kick, you gain shuffle for the next three attacks. That is nice. That is really nice. The blackout kick? Mm -mm -mm, not. <laughs> not for free. <laughs> okay. Let's go back. Clash. Remember this? I did a video of this. It was called Class Clashing Ox Shard something. Yeah, it's called Clash now. Uh, and yeah, it's the same thing. You know, you meet halfway, charge each other, and you stun your target. Uh, or all targets even now. It's all targets winning six yards. That's really cool. Yes. Dissing Haze. This keg throwing ability, which is really cool, costs 20 energy instead of 10. It reduces the re <coughs> oh, reduces the movement speed by 50% instead of 15. And misfire can stack up to three times, so you can like keep using it, and it can actually stack. But it's a three percent chance, so it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's worth it to be honest. Okay, guard has been changed as well. Thank God for that. Guard lasts 30 seconds and not 8 seconds. It still has a 30 second cooldown, but it has a longer duration, which is nice, if you ask me. And you should, because I'm so nice. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I'm actually very nice. When I want to be nice, see what they did there. Yes. Summon. Oh, this is cool. Summon. Here it is. Where is it? There we go. The Black Ox statue. It's now instant cast. Woo! Yay! <laughs> I know, right? Still has a long cooldown though. So. Yes. And that's actually all the changes to to Brewmaster. But uh, yeah, I like them. Yeah, I have to try them out. Definitely. It'd be fun to try. And we'll definitely try Mistweaver again with the changes. That's for sure. Okay. So last spec. Windwalker, woo! -hoo. Let's go to Windwalker. Okay then, let's see. We have a passive ability called Muscle Memory. Yep, Muscle Memory now also affects Expel Harm. Yep, so we should get two she instead of one she if you're a DPS. If you use that. So more she to the people. Sparring, 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 thingy, fucking hell fraps, stop fucking around, oh my god, fucking hell man, sparring no longer requires any stance at all, zero zap nada, it's interesting, and let's go back, uh, the spinning fire blossom, now these fire damage instead of physical damage, which makes sense because it's a fire blossom, so herp a derp, uh, what else we have? Ah, yes. For some reason, I don't know. They just added this basically dual wield, you know, normal dual wield, passive dual wield, dual wield ability. And the last thing they did was to clarify the Fist of Fury. That, like, the damage is. Like, if you look at the end there, it says damage is spread evenly over all targets. Yes, just <laughs> made sure to clarify that. Um, and actually, the last thing they changed was <coughs> expel harm. Uh, they increases the range of expel harm by ten yards. Yes, and yeah, then that's basically it. Um, yeah, that's all the changes to monks, including tier fourteen set bonuses. I'm gonna. 
go play with my monk mm. <laughs> and actually yeah see how it works now with all the changes mist weaver is the most interesting but i really want to get back to tanking on my monk so i'm gonna try that as well and i will be going to stormstar brewery on my monk so yeah can't wait to try all these changes and yeah i will be making a video of my mage in Crescering Wilds now when I finally can so yeah also yeah we finally got some glyphs <sighs> really wow some interesting glyphs right here hmm. <laughs> reduces the speed okay yeah it's pretty quick but okay yeah whatever it applies uh, instead of one nice not bad breath of fire yeah, okay okay guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it there are a lot of changes i mean monks are being changed all the time which is not surprising new class they get shit tons of feedback and just you know yeah um It'll be interesting to see how it finally comes together at the end. So um, yeah, uh, that's it, guys. Thanks you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for yeah, it's getting late, so thanks for watching. Can't talk. Humla humla. Whatever. See you for next video.